Hello and welcome to Color Up. How would you like to win $300 an hour at the casino? Well, in today's video, I show you how. This is episode two of our Dice Advice series and today's strategy was submitted by Keith Aubin. So thank you, Keith, very much. He calls this strategy the $5 a roll Grand Martingale. The premise of this strategy is at a table, you're gonna see about one roll per minute. So in 20 minutes, if you're winning $5 a roll, that's $100. Now he suggests limiting your play to $20 because it is a Martingale and eventually Martingales do, you know, hop up and bite you. But, um, so he says limit it to 20 minutes, but personally he'll play for an hour or $300, whichever comes first. So if you do play for an hour, you're gonna see 60 rolls, 60 rolls at $5, 300 bucks an hour. So not too bad. Now his local casino pays triple on the 12, which is great. It lowers the house edge down to a, you know, a reasonable 2.7% house edge. And unfortunately not, you know, a lot of casinos the majority of them, I think, are gonna pay just double. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pay double for this demonstration, but if you are gonna play any sort of field strategy, really, you should be playing on a layout that pays triple for the 12, or sometimes the 12, like the two up in Reno or places like that. The first thing you're gonna do is wait for a non-field number to roll. So the field contains all the numbers except for the five, six, seven, and eight. You're gonna to wait to see one of these numbers. Once you see one of these numbers, then you're gonna start playing in the field. Now, I'm not gonna talk about gambler's fallacy, but you know, kind of that thought does include that, but this is how he plays it out. So you wait, see a non-field number, then you're gonna start with a $5 field bet. If you win, you have a $5 profit, you rack it up, you, you pull your bet back, wait, to, wait for another non-field number to roll, and then you start the progression again. Let's say you bet $5 in the field, you lose it. What you're gonna do is come back with double, $10 and add a unit, so $15. And he keeps progressing that way. So $15 bet, then you're gonna double it and add five. So 15 is gonna to go to a $35 bet, $75, $155, and then finally a $315 or $315 bet. If the dice roll seven times and you don't see a field number, you're gonna lose all six levels of your bets or all $600 and you're done, basically done for the day. So that's why he says you're gonna limit it to 20 minutes. Hopefully you don't see that happen, but it can and will happen, but you're looking to avoid that. In the meantime, you're gonna be racking up at least $5 a roll or per minute. So hopefully within those 20 minutes, you're gonna win your $100 and walk away. All right, we're at a $5 table. We're only gonna pay double. We have a $600 bankroll. The puck, you know, if the point's on or off, it really doesn't matter to us, so I'm not even gonna bother with it. So hopefully that doesn't annoy you because, you know, paying out, sometimes I lose track. So um, I'm just gonna leave it off because it really doesn't matter for the strategy. So the very first thing we're gonna do is look for that non-field number. Four. Remember, in those non-field numbers are five, six, seven, or eight. So there's a seven. So in this case, we would start our progression at $5. So we're looking for a field number now. Okay, it's a five. It's gonna be a loss for us. We're gonna follow that up. Double and add a unit, that's $15. And there's an eight. Another field loss. That's double and add a unit is going to be $35 bet. Okay, and there's the four. So we're going to win $35. And that's at level three, so that's a $15 profit. I'm going to put the profit up here. And then we could just put our bankroll back. You could change it out for fives if you wanted, but so we got our initial bankroll back and a $15 profit. All right, now we start over looking for a non-field number. Three, three craps. And there's the six, there's our non-field number. So now we're gonna start our progression. $5 in the field. Looking for that field number now. Okay, there's an eight. It's a loser in the field. I'll follow that up. 
with a $15 bet. And we have another eight. It's a loser in the field. So we'll follow that up with a $35 bet. And we have a seven, seven out. We're gonna lose our $35 bet. We're gonna follow that up with $75 bet. And an eight. Uh-oh, st I'm starting to get nervous a little bit here. $75 bet, double in a unit is gonna be 75, 150, 155. And a nine. All right. So we want everything back and we're gonna have a $25 profit for that. I'm gonna go ahead and change this out for some fives just so I can keep track of this. So I know when this rack is full, I have $100 in profit and we'll probably end the video there, if we can get there. All right, so now we're looking for that non-field number. Okay, it's a six, so there it is. So we're gonna start our progression. And a four, it's gonna be a winner. We'll just quick rack up, get our initial money back and waiting for a non-field number again. Okay, it's a six. Right back in the field, looking for that field number now. And four, four hard. Again, I'm rolling a little bit faster, and this goes back in original mank roll. I'm rolling faster than a table would be, you know, with everyone betting and everything. So they say a full table is gonna be about a roll per minute. Looking for that non-field number, eight, hard eight. So we can go ahead and start our progression. Okay, there's an eight, that's a loss for us on the field. Follow that up with a $15 bet. And it's gonna be a seven. It's a loss for us, loss of 15. So we're gonna follow that up with a $35 bet. This pesky 25 chip keeps falling out of there. All right, $35 bet in the field. Okay, another eight. So we're gonna lose that. We're gonna to have to follow that up. The $75 bet. Okay, eight, hard. Should be betting that eight, huh? Okay, so we lose our 75. Now we're gonna to have to dig deep. 150, 155. I really don't like betting that much, but there it is. Okay, and it's gonna be a five. That's a loss. So we're at our last level. That's gonna be everything we got, $315. So at this point, yikes, right? Let's see that field number, five, nope. And so this video is gonna end a little short. We do have a little bit here, 550. So we got, you know, we lost $550. We do have our $50 there. Um, that's the problem with Martingales. It, it can and does happen. Now, I, all these videos that are, if you guys submit a video for dice advice, I'm gonna roll it one time. The dice roll, it is what it is. So I'm not gonna redo this video multiple times to show it as a winner. I'm not going to redo it to make it as a loser. That's not how strategies work. They will all work sometimes. None of them will work all of the time. So, you know, it's just showing you options of ways you play. If you're comfortable with this strategy, great. If you say no way, too much risk for me, then don't play it. So, but I really want to thank Keith Aubin for submitting the strategy. <clears throat> it's really fun to play these out. If you guys want to be a part of Dice Advice, Go ahead and submit your strategies at colorup.club. That's my website, colorup.club. 
You'll find a form on there. You won't find much else. Submit your strategies and uh, maybe we'll see your strategy here on Color Up. So until next time, hope you liked the video. Good luck on coloring up.